And this is going to be a part two. I apologize about that previous video and it just suddenly cutting off. Um, unfortunately, it seemed to have gotten to the end of its time limit, even though it was only about 10 minutes. So we'll just keep on going. So anyway, you can see all of the beautiful plants over here on the north side are doing pretty well for them to be on the north side of the house. In fact, that zucchini does have a zucchini on it and is blooming. So I look forward to having some zucchini off of it, even though I really wanted some jack-o'-lanterns out of that one. But we do have the jack-o'-lanterns over on the other side that I had just shown you, and they'll have plenty of pumpkins on them. And I haven't showed these too often. I kind of just breeze over them. But I just absolutely love the color of these pansies right here. That brilliant peach color kind of just goes in with all of the yellows and the oranges of the other pansies and the marigolds. Just looking absolutely gorgeous and lots and lots of blooms on those marigolds. And I'll definitely be saving some seed off of those. So we're back over here in the main garden area. And you can see all of my potted um, fuchsias doing fantastic still. Loads and loads of blooms and the dianthus. And the carrots I had thinned out, they have really made some progress on making carrots. I mean, there's, there's a couple of them in there that are really big. The broccoli is definitely coming on. The heads are getting much bigger. They are just looking fantastic. And this one's still catching up. Even though this plant's bigger, it still had a, a lot of catching, it has a lot of catching up to do on the broccoli head. And the beets have, uh, as you can see, have started recovering from whatever was killing off their leaves and have actually started making beets. I've got some, some good sized beets coming on, surprisingly. So I look forward to that. And those three cabbages are just continuing to get bigger and bigger. And all of my radishes are doing great. Um, the new seedlings. I've got lettuce coming up in that section that looks bare, but there's definitely some lettuce that is coming up in there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Probably not, because it's still really, really small. You can see the spinach there is coming on. And these broccoli are definitely catching up. They're getting much bigger. So I look forward to seeing some heads off of those. And I did come in and um, loosen the soil around the fennel and planted a couple of more here in the front where there was just empty space. And then I've got a cabbage stuck right there. But um, went in and did that and they just really started. You can see some of the bulbs in there for the fennel are getting much, much bigger. And then I've got some more lettuce here in the back. And something funny that I discovered about this lettuce, I kept looking at it and saying, why is there only some of the lettuce doing really well? In this section as you can see but some of it isn't and I found out that I have a nest of ants in there and they're the larger ants and um, they actually live underneath this um, downspout on um, the gutters and they just kind of keep trekking over this way they don't bother the lettuce here but they're bothering this lettuce they're just they just keep cutting off the leaves for some reason so I've not had a whole lot of lettuce this year, so that's why I started the other um, couple of plots of lettuce that I have, and it is coming on and getting ready. So um, I'm kind of ditching this one. I'm not sure what I'll plant here next just to keep the ants out of it. Um, I guess I'll need to put some taro down, which I hate doing. I don't want to kill the ants, but um, when they're doing something like that, it's time for them to go. Swiss chard is doing amazing. It's actually starting to get some color to it now. You can see that yellow right there and the red and the orange. Onions are doing fantastic. Um, just got through watering these and uh, fertilizing them so they're kind of droopy right now but they will perk back up in the morning. And the sunflowers, the few bunches that I have here in the front, I've got four bunches. These are the, the younger ones that I just planted about a week and a half ago. Now <clears throat> these are the older ones. Definitely getting much bigger. And the sunflowers that I planted along this fence are getting a lot bigger as well and looking really good, surprisingly enough. Um, was worried they'd be shaded out. 
cauliflower still continuing to get progress on those still waiting for heads to come on I'm still hoping that the hailstorm just didn't damage them too badly that they don't produce anything but just leaves <clears throat> and this other broccoli and uh, I think this one is a another cauliflower um, right here and I think it's a snowball cauliflower that came out of my own seeds it is starting to get a little bit bigger so maybe we'll, it will do something collards looking great lettuce still looking great those the romaine lettuce and the cabbage heads are getting much much bigger let me see if I can zoom in there without going into the garden you can see oh let me tilt it up you can see the cabbage heads in there getting a lot bigger I don't think you can see the other ones so sorry about that but there are three more in there and uh, getting big heads on those um, this is the zucchini I guess you could call it the zucchini patch where I have the yellow straight neck over here on this one row because I do prefer those more than the zucchini and then I've got the Genovese zucchini and gray zucchini and dark green zucchini in this row um, doing great I've got some blooms on this one in the middle Genovese still lagging behind but they are starting to come out and peppers doing great got a giant Marconi right there that is getting pretty large let me show you this guy it is half the size of the plant and the plants pretty large and uh, still just continuing to get bigger but it's really long and skinny instead of being what it looks like on the pictures and I haven't grown those before so I guess we'll find out what it turns out to be and uh, the beans the long pole beans are overlapping and going back down and filling out their leaves on their runners and I do have some beans in there from some of the bush beans that were planted in there as well and then all of the peas the peas are getting wild they're becoming a jungle I did not trellis them so they are just making their own trellis so I will just have to pick peas when when and where they come so they're just going crazy and then I've got the other lettuce patch back there and you can see that it is doing much better than the one that I just showed you and this is just a gourmet blend of lettuce so I look forward to that I think it has black seeded Simpson and some red leaf lettuce and green leaf lettuce and stuff like that in the gourmet blend so it's looking fantastic and look forward to that the extra three tomato plants that I had those are the sun sugar gold doing great the acorn squash in the back and all of the super sauce tomatoes are just setting big tomatoes you can see one hanging right there and another one doing fantastic and we did fertilize those today as well my flowers doing fantastic the other rhubarb plant over here is doing great it's still the one that has the least amount of stalks but it is catching up as you can tell this other tomato plant that I had an extra of is beginning to set some tomatoes on it and I think it's going to be the tiny Tim and my roses are blooming looking gorgeous these are the mini roses and uh, one of the mini roses is getting kind of big and that's the yellow one my cress is just spilling over honestly out of the container looks beautiful nice and healthy look forward to eating some of that the peach rose over here is just about done this is the last bloom on it um, that's hanging on the other ones have started falling off but it is simply beautiful and I did go ahead and cut this rose back it just had some really long canes on it so they cut some of those back so it'll start bushing out and probably bloom again in the fall as well as the other one the onions are not doing great I just don't think they're gonna do anything I've been talking about it the whole time so unfortunately no onions this year we'll have to do it at the farmers market that's okay and the tomatillos I'm getting bigger tomatillos all the time just keeps on coming on 
Red curry squash has got their runners. You can tell that they're just reaching for the stars at this point. Just everywhere. And it's became so much of a jungle in here with the red curry and the tomatoes. I can all, no longer get into this section to weed or anything. So it is at its own mercy right now. And I do have super beefsteak tomatoes that are coming on on these two. I see the tomatoes hanging. They're still pretty little, but they just now started. And then the Black Prince tomato does have a tomato back there. You can kind of see it. It's all the way in the back. You can see that nice big tomato in there. And the Cherokee Purple has started setting tomatoes. The Ox Hearts, I still haven't seen any tomatoes on, so I'm still waiting on those, but I heard that they take a, a, a long time. So um, they've been in the ground for quite a while, so they should start setting something soon. Cucumbers are definitely getting runners, still kind of slow progress on them, but they are they are setting the runners, and I am seeing cucumbers on them, just small, um, so they are getting pollinated, and they just continue to grow, and the other bean patch, definitely climbing more than halfway up the trellis now, they're almost to the top, at least one of them, and filling out their leaves, and I have seen some blooms in there. And you can see this red curry did not stay where it's supposed to stay. It's climbing on out of there. So I'm going to have to try to work with it and get it back into its section. So that is all the red curry there in the back. There was eight plants. And so they're just going to tangle in amongst each other. And there was some lettuce in there between the beans and the red curry. But unfortunately, um, the red curry took over. So I'm just going to let it go. And... Um, Sunflower, I'm doing amazing. I planted some chives in this little pot here. And I did plant some tarragon all along this front section of the peppers. The acorn squash back here looking great. Definitely starting to bloom. The artichokes are actually putting on more leaves, getting bigger. So maybe we'll actually have some artichokes. And that is the giant ox hearts and the more... Um, acorn squash there in the back they are blooming and setting acorn squash this is the yellow pear tomato and you can see all of the little pear tomatoes on it and it still just continues to get taller and taller so i'm going to have to put a longer stake tie it down again these are the kennebec potatoes they are blooming for a second time so i've got some more blooms that are coming on in these kennebec so i'm just going to leave them until they start dying back and you can see the extra peppers that I put over here are big and they've got blooms on them. And I uh, look forward to seeing some peppers on those. And we've got another red curry over here. The shallots. I did plant some basil in here and this is the cinnamon basil and you can just see it coming up in between everything. And then I've got a couple of um, iceberg head lettuce in here that I'm gonna try to see if they'll do anything. I keep getting them cut off by squirrels, so I may not get anything out of those. All of the radishes doing fantastic. The white pumpkins are blooming like crazy, trying to set fruit, but it just keeps not getting pollinated. Um, I just don't think I'll be trying these anymore. They're pretty, and I wanted to do something different, but not too happy with that. The carrots are coming up in that row. You can't really see them because they're so small. Um, you maybe see a little bit of the greenery in there, but definitely are coming up. And we are getting some cracking where I put another row of potatoes. These are the Yukon Gold, so they will be coming up very soon. The cabbages that I planted in here behind the white pumpkin, you can see one of them right there, are getting bigger and uh, looking pretty, so they should come on. Watermelon vines are just wild at this point. The barrage is just kind of in there. Hopefully the barrage will not get killed out, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it doesn't. We just got so many um, watermelon vines going on. They are blooming, so they should be setting some fruit. Acorn squash here, uh, much, much bigger than all the other acorn squash because I think they just get more nutrients over here. And um, I don't know if they're setting fruit or not because those vines are just huge corn is doing amazing we've got one that went to tassel you've already got always got an overachiever in the bunch and that one happens to be it 
Um, and that is one of the early sun glow. The rest of them are peaches and cream, except for two, which are also tasseling as well in the back. You just can't really see it very well. But the peaches and cream are getting much, much bigger. And they are going to overtake the early sun glow, I believe, in, in as far as height. Because um, they haven't even thought about tasseling yet. They're just getting bigger. Tahitian squash is enormous and beginning to set fruit and blooming and all of that. And all of my container plants are doing amazing as well as the herb patch out in that section out there. So everything doing great, blooming, getting cucumbers, all of that setting and getting strawberries still and basil is just amazing. So we will see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, and hit the notica notification bell to get notices on new videos as they come out, and we will see you in the next one.